Xenomorphs are known for their remarkable adaptability and survival instincts. They possess physical strength, stealth, adaptability, intelligence, and an array of super deadly biological weapons, which are actually all part of their bodies. But despite all these awesome features, they seem to lack eyes. While some may believe that this must be a hindrance or a disability to the biomechanical monsters from the depths of hell, they have actually grown a number of other senses that help them visualize things. And that's exactly what we'll discuss in this video. Video. But we will also talk about how exactly a xenomorph sees things, if at all it lacks eyes, and if yes, why so? But that's not all. We will then check out the array of extraordinary sensory organs and sensitivities that help xenomorphs do what they do. So without further ado, let's begin this thrill ride. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. One. How do xenomorphs see things? An exploration. So, before we get into our explanation, let's quickly explore what exactly the vision or point of view of an alien looks like across movies and games. Through the xenomorph runner vision on Fury 161 and from the film Alien 3, we see the world from this creature's point of view. The images were notably distorted, occasionally flipped upside down, as the uber-quick runner maneuvered through narrow corridors in the leadworks. Despite the distortion, the vision remained colorful, but devoid of additional effects. Furthermore, the runner sensed the presence of the queen alien inside Ripley, but that happened possibly through pheromones, scent, or a distinct form of sensory perception. In Alien Covenant, the protomorph's vision offered a different visual perspective. This vision was shown using a fisheye lens effect, but the protomorph seemed to view its surroundings from within a womb-like environment. It seemed as if the visual organ of the protomorph was enclosed by a membrane, which had delicate veins or worm-like patterns that pulsated in response to movement. Changes in the membrane's colors were observed likely due to the ship's lighting. The Aliens vs. Predator first-person shooter video game changed the whole thing. The creatures in the games relied on echolocation to navigate dark environments. Activating this vision mode transformed the world into black and white, accompanied by a blue health bar at the bottom. This echolocation vision bore similarity to the vision of the Bioraptors in the film Pitch Black, who lacked eyes but sensed their surroundings through sound reflections. Having said that, across the Aliens vs. Predators game series, Xenomorphs possessed the ability to perceive an enemy glowing aura, even partially through walls. Humans appeared in blue, predators in green, and fellow xenomorphs in red. This distinction may be attributed to the unique pheromones emitted by each species. When a xenomorph focused on an enemy's head, the game transitioned to an inner jaws vision, with the outer jaws visible on the screen. This feature raises the possibility that xenomorphs can perceive the surroundings through their inner mouths. But it also raises a million dollar question that no one seems to know the correct answer to. Which brings me to my next entry. Two, do xenomorphs have eyes? In the comic Alien Sacrifice, the character named Anne McKay says the following about a xenomorph she encountered. I stared into the sun. I stared into the creature's eyes. And what did I see? Nothing. It had no eyes. I saw nothing. But do we simply believe her or dig deeper? Well, xenomorphs are known for their menacing appearance and lack of traditional eyes. But this didn't happen by chance. It was a deliberate design choice by the visionary artist H.R. Giger. He envisioned the xenomorphs as being similar to humans, but in case in impervious armor. This armor was supposed to cover the entire body, which of course included the eyes as well. Giger believed that this absence of discernible eyes contributed to underscoring and highlighting their terror because it would leave the victims uncertain about where the creatures were looking. In the original Alien movie, the creature known as Big Chap did possess eye sockets beneath its semi-transparent dome, although these were not used for vision. Subsequent films, games, and expanded lore have explored xenomorph vision through various interpretations. This is actually analogous to numerous real-life creatures that have evolved in lightless environments, such as caves or the deep sea. In the absence of light, many of these creatures have foregone visual organs over time because they serve no purpose in pitch-black surroundings. Xenomorph hives, often found in the dark and lightless corners of spacecraft or planets, further negate the need for traditional eyes. Instead, xenomorphs rely on other sensory mechanisms, such as acute hearing and pheromone detection, to navigate their surroundings and hunt prey effectively. So, if for a moment we believe that the xenomorphs actually lack eyes, then how do they see things? How do they hunt and find their way in and out of hives? Well, the most commonly accepted theory is that they use echolocation. However, there are several other senses that xenomorphs use, but before I get into that, let's quickly understand how exactly echolocation works in animals that have slightly similar head structures to xenomorphs. <laughs> 
3. How does echolocation work? The toothed whales often come with a bulging foreskull, and the shape is largely attributed to an organ called the melon. The melon is a massive adipose tissue located in the foreheads of toothed whales. Its primary role is to focus and modulate the whale's vocalizations, serving as a sound lens, making it a key organ involved in communication and echolocation. Structurally, the melon is a part of the nasal apparatus and occupies the space between the blowhole and the tip of the snout, and is believed to be bioacoustic. The melon's composition is designed to create a sound velocity gradient which refracts sound directionally. Additionally, sounds can bounce off the skull and air sacs surrounding the melon. 4. So, what are the senses that xenomorphs used to see? In the comic titled Alien Harvest, a scientist named Dr. Mayakovsky created an artificial xenomorph named Norbert. Here, Mayakovsky spoke about the sensory strength of the xenomorphs and said, The eyeless face cared nothing for such specialized perceptions and it used the old senses, vibration, electricity, and fear. So you see, according to Mayakovsky, the xenomorphs do not even use physical energies like sound, light, or heat. He believed they went further primal and used things like vibration, and electricity to perceive things around them. However, this cannot be the final conclusion, of course. Across the comics, we've had several instances where xenomorphs have used multiple senses to perceive and navigate through their surroundings. Research conducted by the in-universe organization called the LaSalle Bionational conducted extensive research on xenomorphs and discovered some remarkable and extraordinary sensory abilities that the creatures have. According to them, the xenomorphs possess three super senses that help them locate and hunt prey. Let's check out what these are. 1. Auditory sensitivity. Xenomorphs are equipped with delicate, vibration-sensitive organs located along the sides of their elongated heads. These sensory organs enable them to detect atmospheric vibrations and sounds, serving as their primary means of navigation and environmental awareness. This auditory acuity is analogous to the echolocation abilities used by terrestrial bats. 2. Thermosensitivity Situated at the front of their skulls, xenomorphs have certain thermosensitive organs. These unique organs allow them to detect even the slightest variations in body heat, making them highly efficient at locating potential prey based on thermal signatures. 3. Vestigial Eyes While xenomorphs have vestigial eyes with limited functionality, these organs are thought to aid in their ability to sense one another in their social structure. Despite the absence of conventional, lens-based photosensitive visual organs, their highlighted auditory and thermosensitive senses compensate for this deficiency. LaSalle's research unveiled another intriguing facet of xenomorph sensitivity, which is, of course, pheromone signals. That's how they figure out if a potential host has already been impregnated. This heightened olfactory perception allows them to differentiate between individuals who have been infected by a xenomorph embryo and those who remain uninfected. By relying on this sense, xenomorphs can effectively identify suitable hosts for their reproductive cycle. The combination of echolocation, electroreception, and olfactory perception offers a comprehensive sensory repository for xenomorphs, which is indispensable for a hunter of their stature. Furthermore, it potentially explains why advanced camouflage systems like the Yautja cloak used by the predators are ineffective against them. LaSalle's research also revealed that low-intensity ultrasound pulses can stun xenomorphs, rendering them temporarily inert. This discovery led to the development of specialized weapons such as the sound cannon, designed to incapacitate these formidable creatures, shedding further light on the intricate world of xenomorph sensory perception. But of course, that's not all. Dr. Paul Church, as introduced in Alien's Labyrinth, made another groundbreaking discovery about a xenomorph's sensory capabilities. He identified an organ in the creature's heads that permits them to detect electromagnetic fields in the brains of potential prey. This unique ability may explain the increased aggression displayed by xenomorphs when their victims are less afraid. Additionally, xenomorphs possess thermoreactive organs behind the frontal plate of their skull. It is composed of a C60 carbon lattice known for its conductivity. These organs, combined with their vestigial photosensitive receptors, contribute to their depth perception during predatory attacks and may facilitate the perception of other xenomorphs given their remarkably low body heat. Moreover, xenomorphs have a psychic receptor organ placed at the forefront of their head. This organ is lined with compound cells, which are encased in fullerite herlantium, enabling the xenomorph to pick up electromagnetic field E waves and create interference patterns. This allows them to receive brainwave signals from other organisms, aiding in the assessment of potential prey's subtle body characteristics and enhancing their hunting efficiency. Marvelous verdict. So, if you asked for my personal opinion about the xenomorph's eyes, I would say that they are bereft of eyes. That's how Mr. Giger intended them in the first place, and now it goes 
by that reasoning and rationale. It makes more sense because xenomorphs essentially live in places which are pitch dark, so they have little to no use for eyes. However, since they do need to move about and do their day job of hunting other creatures to turn them into hosts, they have developed several other sensory organs. These are actually more efficient because in the world that xenomorphs live in, heat signatures can be hidden and one can get invisible, for instance, the predators. But how does one hide their more innate physical attributes? But of course, this is just my opinion and as you know, I always welcome a healthy debate. So, if you have any other opinion or if you would like to add to what I said, you know where to leave your thoughts. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!